I picked up these scarecrow heads at Hobby Lobby. They were about $3.99. They were on discount. I thought they were really cute. I have a male and a female, and I could see that they have the bendable arms. I'm going to take a larger craft stick, and I'm going to glue the craft stick to the existing stick that we have just to give it a little more substance. And I'm going to do this on both of them. And then I'm going to take a pair of scissors and just cut everything a little shorter. I found these bags, I believe, either at Hobby Lobby or Dollar Tree. And they have the jack-o'-lantern on them. They're like a cotton fabric. And I'm going to glue them to my craft stick, putting them on backwards. Because I really don't want to see the jack-o'-lantern face. And I'm going to start folding it in from the back. This particular one, I'm going to make uh, him in pants. I'm going to cut the bottom with pinking shears and then go up the center, creating leg openings. I'm going to have to cut this craft stick a little shorter. I struggled with that a bit, but it got that to uh, go a little shorter. And then I'm going to put straw in each leg. I get this straw from the grass skirts that you can get at uh, the Dollar Tree. And you can pick at them for a while for different with different crafts. So I'm going to put some in each leg. And I'm going to take an extra strand of the straw and tie it around the bottom of the leg. and then cutting the grass a little shorter. And I did this on each leg. I'm gonna glue him to this Dollar Tree palette so he can sit. And then I'm gonna to go to the second Scarecrow and I'm going to do the same thing with this little bag, putting it on backwards. And this one, I'm going to make a dress. I'm going to fold it and glue it from the back side. I'm going to add grass along the bottom, just putting it in there with some hot glue. and then cutting that. Then I'm gonna glue her to the back side of this palette so he's sitting and she's standing. And I'm gonna take this block from the Dollar Tree and glue it to the back of the palette just to give it that weight so they all stand freely. I found this little plaque from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna glue the block to that. So now I have this little stand and I took the little hay that you can get from the Dollar Tree and glued it to the left. I had this little pumpkin from Hobby Lobby. It says thankful. I glued to the right. And then I'm gonna take some of my Dollar Tree uh, fall leaves and stick it in the palette in the back. And then the last thing I'm going to do, I had some buffalo check fabric from the Dollar Tree. I cut out these little squares with my pinking shears and glued patches to their outfit. Put one on his leg. And I think this came out really cute. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chocolateoffancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper transfers, or mesh stencils, chalkitafancy.com. Thank you so much.